So today what we're going to do is we are going to uh, start a new file and share it with Google Drive. So we can see I've got Google Drive right here in my desktop because that's where I believe in it being. But if I didn't know where it was, I could just pull down from the center of the screen and type in Drive. And we can see that as I type in Drive, it comes up here. We're going to click on Drive and we're going to open Drive. Now, if I click right here, I can see that I'm signed into my school Google account, which is important to me because that's where I want to be. And if I want to create a new document, I can click right here on my drive, and it gives me all of these different options, none of which are create a new document. How do I create a new document? Ah, it's over here. It's the plus sign. That says new document. We're going to title this new document, Reverse Brainstorming. And I'm going to put my name in it, because I'm going to share this with a bunch of people, including my teacher. And I want them to be able to know who I am. I'm also going to put the uh, block, so 7A. I'm going to click Create. It's going to think for a second, and then it's going to open up this great document I've just created. Now, first thing I'm going to ask you to do is share this document. So you've created a document, now let's share it by clicking this person button, not the search button, the person button. Now that's current viewers. So if I say OK, I have to go back out to share this. That's right. So I'm going to come back out here, and I'm going to click on this clock, which should get me to recent files. And here's reverse brainstorming. I'm going to press that little I, and then that opens all of these details. So I can share just by pressing this share button here, and then I can start putting in different people that um, so if Cindy's my teacher I can add her as a share right there and I can choose what level of access she has. I want her to be able to edit because she's in my group and we're going to be working together you're going to actually add your three group members and your teacher. So please send it to me as well as your three group members. And that's how you set up and share it. Now once you've got that done, you can just go back here and you can click into the document and you can And you'll have a very limited amount of time in your group to answer this question, and then I'm going to ask you to share your findings. Thanks.